What's the media tour been like for you so far today? Uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, a lot of crazy questions, but it's really, really good so far. What's the craziest thing you've been asked so far? Somebody asked me uh, about karaoke. It's like, hey, what's your favorite karaoke song? So, that's good. That's good. I don't know. I don't think I have one. <laughs> yeah. I got one a little bit off topic for you. What do you think about the uh, the college football video game coming back and all that? And first of all, I mean, are you a fan? Are you excited about it? And also, yeah, you... yeah, yeah, definitely excited. Um, it should be it should be good for the fans. Uh, I seen something that said it's in the process of happening right now, so that's definitely excited. What about what do you think players should be played for, or players should be paid for? What do you mean as far as compensation for yeah. the game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think players should be compensated for the game. Yeah, definitely. Are you a big gamer? Yeah, sometimes I game. I'm, I'm not gaming all the time, but sometimes I'm at a friend's house or team is, yeah, I'm playing the game. What, what, what do you play? Madden, 2K, typical sports. Yeah. How much did last year just surprise you? You know, your productivity and just week by week? Definitely, it didn't surprise me, but I would say, uh, for it to be happening as rapidly as it did week by week, game by game. You're averaging a certain amount of yards per game and then by carry and, and then not even just by rushing, it could be as receiving as well. So it was definitely exciting, great experience to score. When did you see teams kind of start to focus on you? Could you tell there was a shift? Yeah, later later on into the year, they, they kind of started packing the boxes. <laughs> yeah. And how much tougher does that make it being in this league? Uh, I would say it doesn't make it tougher. I would say you just have to work harder. Yeah. You're obviously going to get a lot of that this year. People are going to key on you from week one. How have you prepared for that, I guess, in the offseason? You know, just not by being in the backfield only, uh, just by being used everywhere on the field, not just by running the ball like I did vertically, downhill. You know, as a freshman, you don't really know that much about the game, so they can only use you so much, even though I knew a lot about the game. That's why I played a lot. But as far as just being able to do a lot of things, going into your second year with the more knowledge you have, to better your skill set, everything that you can do, it makes it only better. Lane was talking about your footwork, uh, your pass protection work, that kind of thing, just in you becoming a more detailed player in your sophomore year. Do you, how do you feel that's progressed? Definitely really good. Uh, that's why I say, you know, going into your second year, you, you get better because the things that you knew a little bit about your first year, you know even more your second year. You got experience under your belt. You got the jitters out the way. The things that you didn't know going into your freshman year, so it, it should be really good. Your Good hometown's job. not that far from from uh, from the Auburn's campus. You guys play at at Auburn right. this, this year. Are you looking forward to that, or is any anything special I, that game? Yeah, I would say I don't look forward to just playing at Auburn. Like I look at all my games a certain way. Going into a game, you know, you're excited about each and every game. You're not just looking forward to one team. You know, even though I grew up like I'm not that far from Auburn, yeah. Uh, will you have kind of extra family at that game, or maybe too far out? To know. I'll probably say not extra family, but extra people from the community that I grew up in from around the certain uh, areas. Yeah. Quinn John, the state of the running back position at the professional level has been under a lot of scrutiny right now. Uh, everything going on with Saquon Barkley and Derrick Henry and all these other guys who are spoken speaking up. Also, right. I put another one. Do you have any comments on like what that would be like for you because you're probably going to be at that next level here pretty soon? Yeah, I think. Um, at that position, at the skill set, you're starting to have to show the more that you can do. And that's why I'm in college pr producing and doing what I do now, not only just running the ball in the backfield, but being able to produce in the passing game, being able to show that I can, I can showcase my blocking, pass pass blocking, everything, the whole ordeal. So I think that's, that's something that you really have to showcase to the scouts in the NFL that you can do. Are you keeping up with Sa Are you keeping up with the Barkley situation? Uh, Saquon Barkley? Yeah, yeah I seen it yesterday. Uh, I seen that he didn't get the deal done, so he isn't reporting to many camps. So I was updated about the situation. I seen it. Yeah. How much did last year's Alabama game did that deflate the team? I mean, you were sitting there eight and one. And I guess you're on their 14 yard line or whatever. And yeah. Did that game beat you more than just once? No, I, I would say because in this this conference, you can't really focus on one game once you lose because the next after that game, you have another SEC team. So you can't really just focus on one game. So you win or lose, you're on to the next game. So once we lost, we're on to the next game, that next Monday, focus on how we can beat that team. What do you think happened though? Those the end of the regular season in the bowl game? Why was why did y'all not look the same those last In the bowl games? game? Yeah, in the last couple of regular season games in the bowl game. I just think at that point, a lot of people were kind of injured. We were down on a lot of players at that point. A lot of people couldn't go. and. With that being said, it just it just went downhill from there. Yeah. To add one more Auburn question, I apologize. Did you go to Auburn at all? Um, just like as a kid, go to games there. Do you have any any memories of that of that? 
stadium and that campus? Uh, no, nah, I didn't really go to Auburn at all. I only started going to Auburn when they started recruiting me in the ninth and 10th grade. I, that's when I started visiting the school. So I was heavy on Auburn coming out of high school and recruitment, but I just ended up cho choosing Ole Miss over Auburn. Yeah. How's adding Safari Franklin changed the offense? And you mentioned 